What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hoop Daddy Show. Hoop Daddy Show. Kicking it July 14th, Wednesday. Had a good weekend of ball. Let's get into it. Big success. Big success. Van City Street Ball. Kings of the Court. King Handles. Hoop Daddy. Everyone else in Vancouver. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, it was a great time. Great time. Great. I mean, pretty good show out. Honestly, I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if there's going to be like a ton of people or nobody. When we got there, it was definitely a bit dry just because it was still hot. But it was a hot one that day. It was like 35 degrees. But then like King brought all his crew out and um, man, it was so fun. And some people showed out like showed up to like with their squads to go against us too. Yeah, you know? yeah, like yeah. there was it wasn't like just us and just whoever that was there like. People legit came out to, to challenge the king and the peeps, and uh, and it was a fun time, man. And king held it down, dude. Oh, and some good ballers. Yeah, yeah, a lot of king's friends too. and stuff that came through. And Yeah, good ballers. What's that guy, side? Gabe? I, I, I still don't have his at, but he was, he's after nice watching the highlights, he has a lot of highlights just knocking down big shots. Dude. Yeah, he was nice with it. Yeah, it was uh, it was sick, man. And, like, the competition was, was high. Yeah. It was fun. It was great to see it at Queenie, right? Because you just don't get a lot of those type of guys there. Like maybe once in a while, one guy or, or so. But yep. Yep. to have like full squads of like dudes who can really ball and challenge us and learn from them, make you know, it makes us better. It makes you know, you kind of see see where you're at, see where you're at, see the mistakes you're making that you don't use that don't usually get exposed when you're playing with guys that are just you know at your level or mm-hmm. on, or below or whatever. So yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, it was fun. We didn't get that many highlights, but we were no, just kind of chilling. I was, I didn't get any highlights. I think I had, you know, just some layups, inside passes that I caught and then laid put, it put up. up. But um, I think that's I okay, dude. I was just trying to like feel it out and like not be too, not not uh, expose myself too much. <laughs> right that, dude. Matisse exposes himself. <laughs> If I may, I, I, I may, I'm definitely gonna make some TikToks like being like exposing myself, but whatever, dude. They'll like, be like your like your nude or something. You like streak down. Yeah, there. right. No, <laughs> no. I had this idea for one where like you'll see it. I don't. Know, it, it basically like because I caught some of those like cut baseline cut passes that I yeah, put in yeah. and then like didn't on some of them, and so I want to do like. A juxta, you know how you think oh, okay. it's gonna go, oh, and yeah, then how yeah, it yeah. really goes, and you get a ball right to your fucking head or your the side of your body. Right, so. right. But um, that's so funny. <laughs> no, it, it was good, and uh, some great clips. You know, King Handles obviously did his thing did as he, he does, out? as he does, and um, a little some trash talkers out there too. That that ha- Hamid guy was. Uh, yeah, that Trash guy was wild, like wild, bro. Yeah, it was borderline annoying, also hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was big talk good. from such a small, stout man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, he was it's good. He, like yeah, he was good stuff, though. He, he, he. Uh, well, he added, you know, he made, it, another... he made it a little lively. Yeah, exactly. It just adds like a different. Dynamic. Makes some people want to fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight up, dude. Yeah, it was good though. And um, someone who like talks trash like that like you know you can talk trash back to them do you know what yeah, i mean yeah, like oh, for sure yeah like they gotta be i able wasn't to i it. wasn't just try, trying to start like shit with anyone but when he's like talking to me then i'm like okay then you can handle it too and then you know yeah. it gives you some something to work off a little off bit of, of edge know? yeah yeah so uh yeah we balled out with king it was it was a lot of fun appreciate uh king having us out and oh, yeah. uh yeah you got this new merch tell me about <laughs> I, it man i bought the merch because i was like I was like, you know, I obviously want to support King because he's, you know, helped us out so much so far and hooked us up with some Converse shoes and all that for the for the Kings of the Court. Yeah. So I just bought a couple things and then I bought I, I I bought you this. What? Oh, are you serious? Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, my guy. But then when I when I got it, I was like, dude, Loki, I think I'm gonna keep this. But then, <laughs> like, no, no, I should give it to Dylan because that's why I bought it. So wow, it's just man. a little headband. And then if like we order more stuff or he gives us stuff, like I'll try and get one of those other bands because it's. Yeah, dude, dope. that's sick, man. I appreciate that. But I did get this for you, so you know, little yeah. King Handles. Uh, little, little late birthday gift, you know. Like <laughs> on my. On oh, it's it's his birthday. birthday. It's his birthday tomorrow too. <laughs> I was like, man, I gotta get this guy yeah, something. Yeah, I appreciate so that, funny, man. Dude. 
No, I'm thinking like when when if we get some more stuff, I'll because he has some other bands too. Yeah, yeah, so that's so sick, man. It was so it. funny because I, like, I saw he came today with the shirt, and I was like, Are "You you ordered merch?" I was like, "You didn't tell me." I was like, "I want to yeah. order something too." And he's like, "No, no." As soon no, as no. I hit send, I was like, "Shit, I should have asked Dylan if he wanted some <laughs> some stuff." But I I I, I should have asked if you wanted like a shirt or whatever. But I did buy this, being like, "I'm gonna buy this for Dylan and get myself the shirt." So I I wasn't really trying to ask you because i was trying to surprise you with right, it right. but dude this is so nice man but then i was like borderline like should i keep this no, i was like <laughs> no no i'll get i'll get another one we'll get some more stuff eventually i'm sure thanks bro how's it look dude? it looks sick dude dude i feel like i'm like naruto or something dude it's dude. dope dude i like dude, i like the vibes sick. dude i got the little shirt so we're ready to go dude shout out to the king bro. oh yeah okay we're gonna have to clip this up for ig just to promote you know? yeah dude for sure dude this is sick i'm into this I got like the double too, you know? And I could just be like, are you guys ready to ball? <laughs> that guy was calling me Karate Kid yeah, the other yeah, day. Exactly. So I'm like straight up. All like, right. Well, dude, this yeah. is nice material too, actually. It perfect. feels it feels sick. It's perfect, dude. My man, bro. Yeah, I got you, dude. Dude, I appreciate that. <laughs> I got you, dude. Yeah, I actually and went to the outlet mall today because I had to return yeah. a couple of things or something. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I should give him a tea something. Oh, shit. But then I didn't. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Son of I just a... just because I couldn't find anything that no, was like no, that. Don't force it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Don't force I was like, it. I gotta find the right thing. Yeah, no, it's all good, dude. I'm just Thanks, glad to, to ball with you guys, and we're gonna have a little BBQ, a little hangout later, which should be fun, and yeah, break man. break up the all the regular stuff. You know, haven't had a little get together, especially me, in a long time. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're excited. So how old are you turning? Twenty six, my guy. Twenty six, man. And how you feel about it? Whatever, dude. Honestly, I'm not. <laughs> Whatever, I'm honestly, man. I don't, really, don't really care. I, I didn't really want to like celebrate it or whatever. But I'm. But like, I did want to like hoop, and I wanted to like hang out with you know you guys and my friends and just low key. You know, I, I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to like. Caitlin was like, we need to organize them. I'm like, I just want to like do something chill that's not too whatever. Like. I yeah. think because like the last three years I've done like a big we've always gone to the Okanagan like which is like in the interior on my birthday and it's like this oh, big thing all the time and I'm kind of like over it and so like that's why like I told my dad like just book our family trip like a different week and so it's like not about me and I'm just you know I just humble, you I'm know? like so sick of going to the Okanagan so sick chilling of on the lake eating uh, pears and apples <laughs> out of the Okanagan <laughs> orchard and just you know yeah whatever <laughs> yeah that sounds nice dude I yeah, want to go on a, uh, I'll go on the family trip bro. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're still going <laughs> oh, okay, it's, okay. Not, it's not gonna be like for about your birthday me. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 this is gonna be like a family trip so that that'll be good nice um, man but otherwise yeah two six it. man and we're gonna watch the game tonight dude. Oh, that's sick! Game yeah, four, got the game. Dude. So, is today is like your birthday? Like, are you gonna have? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really gonna do anything tomorrow. Just right, because you were talking to me about how you wanted to like go ball all for like day, the whole yeah, day. Yeah. But that's today. I think it's just better we just do that. We could probably still go ball tomorrow. At yeah, some we point, should try except, to get out. Except Safi's gonna be back in town, so it's gonna be more complicated. But yeah. and since we're balling Friday, but it's your birthday, you know, so. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can get away for like you know an hour or something. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm game, I'm game. But we'll yeah, see dude, how I it saw goes. Otherwise, for sure, we're gonna be balling today and Friday. And okay, okay, well, that's two days. That's good. That's good. We'll give it <laughs> Shout out to Caitlin for that. Yeah. I saw on her story too. She got like an hour of sleep. She said under yeah, uninterrupted, she did. It and was, you it was as well. Crazy. No, 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 I was. You had to get I up and feed. Fitness, dude. You had to get up and do the do the work. No, no, because the babies like we were we had the babies on us and then like. We went upstairs to go do like a feeding and put them back to sleep or whatever. Mm -hmm. And when we took them out of the wraps, like we just put them, this is hoop daddy life. Okay. Yeah. We just put them on the bed and they both stayed asleep. Okay. Like usually they wake up and whatever. They were milk so drunk. They, you know what I'm saying? Just not even. They're just, they're just in their sleep. Dude. They're just. Did they not feed just now? No. no, no, oh, no. Okay. They didn't even feed that. We just took them out and put them down on the bed and they just sort of stayed there like sleeping and caitlin was like i think they're sleeping i was like okay dope so i like went downstairs <laughs> to clean up or whatever yeah. and she just like laid down right beside them and she was out and then she was like out i come up like 15 20 minutes later being like okay they're definitely gonna be awake now like i'll go help 
put the babies on the pillow or whatever. And I would like run up there and thinking they're awake and then they're just like still sleeping. And it actually it had probably been like half an hour at that point. So I was like, Oh shit, okay. And I just like sort of slowly backed away and went, <laughs> went downstairs. <laughs> like a fucking cartoon my, character. <laughs> yeah, basically. To my uh, office, you know, my out my uh yeah, home yeah. office and did my thing and watched a little YouTube, whatever. You know, talk to you and then uh sick, man. And then like an hour later, it's a birthday an gift later, from Caitlin the baby. Called me. Man. She's like, "How long have we been sleeping?" And I was like, <laughs> so it's like an hour, hour and a half, or something. And so that's great. Honestly, that's like that's great a- for Caitlin because she's just been like needing that sleep, and yeah, so do sure. I. But I'm like, I'm not breastfeeding all day, which takes so much more energy than I can even imagine. Yeah. So I can like push through and go play basketball or do whatever, but she like has to breastfeed yeah all yeah day, it's so. a lot it's a lot of energy so that's what it is you know it's a gift ba- a gift from the babies a gift from the gods it was dude, it was great the, it was great hopefully the they'll just start on your birthday like dude. that more often yeah dude, yeah so. yeah that's sick man that's so funny um, baby life i was gonna say they're something. so cute dude. they're ridiculous oh that's what i'm gonna say have you seen every like have you seen babies when they get like milk drunk and stuff oh yeah dude yeah i mean i guess you have they're so funny so funny Dude, they look just like they're high the, the milk the best is like milk dreams when they're like sleeping and they're like <laughs> they're like just dreaming about drinking milk that's dude. hilarious dude. <laughs> it's so good it's like, <laughs> i was like imagining like, those little puppies we're like look yeah he's like running <laughs> they do they're just like they just when they're milk drunk whatever they're just like they just can't yeah that's so funny man. so funny or yeah dude, kids are funny man and they're now high. they're starting to like fully respond to like everything you can make them like laugh and they're like smiling they're like this and that and they're getting so much more aware and these babies are like moving dude these they're like they learn to roll over now one of them learned that they could like roll from one room to the uh, one side of the room to the other oh so they're going she's just like rolling and rolling (laughs) like keeps going like you turn around she's on the other she's like figured out how to move around like crazy dude they're only like four months old so that's sick, it's exciting, man. dude. It's going by fast, though. It's going by fast, faster than felt like with Safi because we were in school and everything. But yeah, and now's the second time you're like, ah, I've seen it all. Yeah, I've well, seen it all. <laughs> not with two, dude. I'm yeah, like, yeah, holy shit. But yes, you're it's right. It's a lot. It's a lot. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, it was a lot when you had Safi and, and being in school, and then I was like, yeah, it seemed like you, you seemed more. Uh, ready for this or your perspective was like less like it's like you just like I got to go through this so it's less if your expectations is like it is what it is then you don't have to be like feel have these negative feelings right but then I was just thinking I was like man he's got two infants right now yeah like, no, two it's, baby. I was like different. two like two that's it's a lot <laughs> yeah I didn't I was just like man that's crazy to actually have two young babies just like and then we, and I was at your house the other day and it was like kind of for a moment it got like kind of chaotic and then Caitlin was just like, yeah, this is, this is the life. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it is. I'm, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. You make it work and we still get out to play and make content and when it's hectic, live our life. It's like hectic sometimes and then it's like so peaceful sometimes and like mm-hmm. so nice or, you know, the moments between them or between Safi and them, like it's so special and so, you know. Yeah, man. Dad, it's beautiful. dad life and. Uh, Hoop dad life. It's just different, dude. Two at once, dude. When one's crying and one's laughing, like, you're just like, what is happening? <laughs> How is this possible? That's so funny. Where did you come from? Yeah. <laughs> and they're yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. growing, dude. Like, no, it's no, crazy, man. dude. Um, so, yeah. Word up. All right, let's talk about the game tonight. Let's talk about the game, dude. So, since last week, they've we, had just a big, up, we had... did, like, a bit of a late upload on this last episode. So, yeah. it was, like, before everything, but... It is what it is. It is <laughs> That's what it my is. Bad. I think, like, la- dude, it's all good. The... Uh, Last time, like, the series hadn't even started, eh? I think it was the first night. It was about, it was about to be the first game. Yeah, eh? 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 Hey, we're still Canadian, okay? <laughs> yeah, it, the game hadn't even started, eh? Uh, and, uh, no, I don't think it had. Uh, so, yeah. I think, I don't even, rem- I don't remember. But there's been, like, so it was like they played two games in Phoenix pretty right. quick. Yeah. They played one game, and then there's been, like, a two-day game two day delay. Like, what's up with that? What's why is it? it was like that too for uh, the first round for or the first for in Phoenix too. They had like two days in between, I like think. in the f- in like the first two games. Yeah, it was like the first game was like on 
Tuesday and then the second game was like on Friday or something mm-hmm. and then or because it felt like they played maybe Thursday and then there was two days in the finals they always have put more time in between each game oh yeah usually yeah. it's like one day off but with the finals they always do like two days in between and then so the last game was on the Saturday was first it? game was Tuesday the 6th then it was on the 8th then Thursday. it was then it was days. Sunday yeah. So then they had Friday, Saturday off, played Sunday. Now they had Monday, Tuesday off, and they're playing Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. So it used to be two games, and then it went to three, which is kind of odd, I thought. Three days. No, two days still. No, well, from Sunday. Well, from Thursday to Sunday is three days. Is that not? Well, three. You have two full days off. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then this Sunday, you had Monday, Tuesday off. This had, off. No, this is. Wait. Game four. Where's game four? Oh, game four is today. Right. Okay, we're, yeah, yeah, we got it. We Wednesday, got it. and the next game would be Saturday, right? You have another two yeah. days off because they're going back to Phoenix. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They just have more time, and which I, <laughs> I'm about it. It's good as good and bad. I mean, for the fans, of course, you're like, just wanna watch I just want to watch it, yeah. and like, you're like, what are we gonna do tonight? There's no game on. <laughs> yeah, man. But um, yeah. Luckily, there was a lot of sports going on this last weekend, but which we can talk about. But um, okay, but let's talk about from this the game. NBA perspective. They they like want to like milk how long yeah they're trying to make that money all, all the ads and all the prep and all that media day but so today tonight's game so first two games went to Phoenix they played super well came back to Milwaukee Milwaukee dominated and in their home court yep he, they changed up they did some major adjustments Giannis was like still as dominant but in a much more effective way where like the rest of his team could produce as well mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, you know, Milwaukee could take it tonight unless Phoenix makes some big adjustments as well. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to see if Giannis is going to be able to drop 40 points again or if he's going to be as aggressive. I mean, just the Greek freak, dude. He's, he's so hard, good. It's hard to stop, hard to stop, stays healthy. Guys around him are, like, just impressed by him and, and they're – they're inspired by him and so you know there's he's an inspiring player like he plays with a lot of passion yeah um positive guy too really positive yeah i was watching this clip it was like steve van gundy or something uh talking about like playing defense on the greek freak and you can see him like in a interview being like I, I don't know what the fuck we gotta do, but we just we're just gonna make a wall. We're just gonna put a wall. You just, you guys just put five in the paint and you don't let him get a basket. Yeah, He's up. like, and then someone interviews like, have you heard about this this wall defense they're talking about? He's like, yeah, yeah, I've heard about it. And it's, Giannis uh, is saying that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I've heard about it. It's like it's frustrating or whatever, but you know, it's like uh, I just try to I'm just trying to go out and play and whatever. And he's just like, I was like, man, that's crazy because it's true. Like you literally need to just like, he's just so strong and so big. Ah oh, man, he gets a little bit of space and he can just he just dunk he's, it, he's yeah. dunking it on you. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, and like you know, DeAndre Ayton is like a sick player as well. He's not like some chump. No. So he's he's and he's been doing it like to the best of the best. So. But DeAndre Ayton's not necessarily always guarding him either, like because he has to he has to take care of Brook Lopez, who's a fucking tower in there in the mm-hmm. middle of all mm-hmm. that too. Like, so. So who's you? Who do you think is gonna win then? I mean, honestly, it's so hard. I, honestly, before today, I thought, okay, Phoenix is going to win this game. They're going to come back, go up 3-1, win it at home in game five. But the more that I think about it, I think Milwaukee's going to come out really strong tonight and tie up the series. What's your prediction in, in the entire series, like for the, the ship? Phoenix is going to win. In? I mean – in six Phoenix in six yeah so you think they're gonna win at home in Milwaukee to go to win the championship yeah <laughs> are, you, are you sure I'm, I'm, you I'm, not... that's a guarantee <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I'm not sure but I, I think I think yeah sure 4-2 yeah. Phoenix hell yeah yeah I, I'd love to see that I mean I'd love to see them win tonight and and win in Phoenix obviously it's way more fun to win in your home court yeah but um, it just, I'm I just, just have a feeling Milwaukee's going to just come out strong again tonight after their their last game, and and Phoenix is going to go home, recalibrate, and play really well at home. 
and hopefully carry that over when they go back to Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. I think that um, I think it's going to be Phoenix in seven. Yeah. I think home court advantage is going to play a big part. They took two in Phoenix. Fair. They're going to take two, go back to Phoenix one, yeah. one, and then I think Phoenix will win game seven. Yeah. Which is pretty sweet because that's exciting basketball, you know? If Phoenix wins tonight, you think they're, they're winning in, in five. You think they're going to win four to one back at home? Okay, yeah, that's possible. If Phoenix wins tonight, I think they're winning game five, and that's where they're, that's where it ends for That'd sure. That'd be hype, dude. Can you imagine at home, Chris Paul, first ring? If they win tonight, yeah. Dude. But I don't think they will. I don't think they will. I think Giannis is going to have a good game. I don't think he'll have 40 points, but I think he'll probably drop like 25 to 30. But I think Chris Middleton is going to pop off. Um, yeah, that's my that's my Word. prediction. Dude, yeah. Because he only had 18. And Drew Holiday had 20 last game too. Yeah, yeah I think I think Middleton's going to drop like 35 tonight. He's going to have right. to. Dude, that's my dude, prediction. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and dude. if he doesn't, I'll edit it out of this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll oh, dude, never down, see dude. this. I'm um, down for that. Yeah, man. Oh, so funny. We were playing at the core last night, and someone was like, uh, an Osman showed up. And one of the guys was like, uh, yo, give it to Chris Middleton. Give it to Chris Middleton. Who? To Oz. And they were talking about Osman. Oh, and yeah. You, you just, next time you see him, Matt, you'll be like, he they really does. Look he look, he yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. Chris Middleton, dude. Like, real talk. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, man. It's super funny. Except for the shooting form, but. Yeah, yeah. True that. <laughs> Um, oh, dude. Okay, so that's <laughs> okay. I had something, but I was gonna. I was gonna wait. No, 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 dude. So no, no, I, had I was gonna say, dude. No, I have something. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What, what were you gonna say? No, 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 no. I'll start. So, because it was sort of like what we were saying earlier. So, Word. this past weekend was like a sick weekend of like sports, dude. It was like on Sunday, I oh, literally yeah, woke yeah, up, yeah, yeah. watched the uh, tennis Wimbledon tennis match, right, with uh, Djokovic and this Italian uh, player and. I don't know if you know much about tennis. Yeah, yeah. I don't really. The Joker won. He won, tied Nadal and Federer for twenty Grand Slam wins. Wow, which is pretty pretty epic. It's and, pretty crazy uh, to have three like players all be that good in the same generation. Who are yeah, who are still playing? Like who are yeah, all yeah, playing yeah. In, in this Wimbledon? That's and all actually that. crazy. Crazy, dude. It's like having three Lebrons. Like it's just not possible. Yeah, because I'm like, there's only so many like Grand Slams to go around, right? Yeah, like there's only. That it's just like, means that they've all three been dominating, like yeah, yeah, for the last ten, fifteen years, like or twenty whatever. years. Dude, they yeah. won twenty. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Um, and then we watched uh, the soccer game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were there for yeah, for yeah. Some of it. That was good. It Italian. was a really, really fun, uh, fun match to go all the way to uh, the penalty kicks, shootouts, and Italy in England, dude. Big upset. It was the perfect amount of soccer for me to watch. Yeah, you know, yeah. I just watched. We were, we were like. <laughs> editing and then like when something cool happened we'd go like check yep. out the tv yep. and i watched i think like i missed the first half right i watched just the second half in the kicks i was like man that's mm. money money dude. That's, that's money dude that's always fun. unless it's the world cup world cup is a lot of fun yeah yeah um yeah this yeah, is like win. sort of the your family's underneath. got some italian there and so yeah, everyone yeah. was just of course hype if it was someone else like i probably wouldn't not necessarily yeah. watch it, but you called your grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Dabbed him up over the, the phone. No, no. <laughs> the no, no. And uh, and then Conor McGregor and Dustin oh Poirier. God. That was the night before. That was the night before. Yeah. That was crazy because they uh, that was did not end as anyone could have ever expected, dude. Conor just like, <sighs> how do you snap your ankle? Just like, is it just bad warm up? Like bad, like bad not taking care of his body like i don't understand how you can like what i guess maybe he heard it from kicking him or something in in the fight like and then just yeah. step back and fold it over his ankle like that's crazy yeah well uh, i think what happened he, he was throwing a lot of kicks hard right and if you don't like get the meat of your leg yeah it can start to like fracture it because it's bone on bone because if you and then dustin Fair. was checking a lot of things and then that last kick he had like a front kick where he kicked forward yeah and Dustin like shielded up or shelled up and his foot hit right on Dustin's elbow mm, bone. So that's what they're saying. They maybe. think that it cracked right on that. And then he goes to plan it and throw and it just like, Ooh, it was Ooh. nasty dude. And, and he was like unfazed dude. And yeah, he was still talking mad shit. Like he's like, Dr. Stoppage. He's like, oh, no, no. It was like someone like Ronda Rousey or something was like, never have I seen someone get 
so badly injured and start shit talking about the next fight so quickly. I mean, I don't think like I don't think he should fight him again. He's I, like neither because he's not gonna win. And like, just fight. Like I, I, I like Conor McGregor. What are you trying to say? Fight Jake Paul or something, dude? <laughs> like, like he's a, like he's. I won't lie to you. Like he's really good at shit talking. Yeah. He's really he's really good at promoting fights. When he had that first rise, some of the stuff he said, and some of the disses he was throwing, were legendary, dude. They were legendary, and they were so funny, and no one had ever done it before. And he just changed like the game of promoting fights he made he's like uh, i just saw a thing he's like top five in pay-per-views for the ufc mm. he's like with that last fight he's every single the most pay-per-view is hit is he's in everyone right his name because he's oh, so oh, good all at, the top five i thought you meant top five athletes you mean the top five biggest like, fights in the ufc yeah most sold have him on the card yeah yeah it's him headlining the card right right so he's like a genius. Like whether you like him or not, totally. He, he put he, UFC on the map worldwide. He made them a lot of money. Yeah, and he's gonna be a billionaire probably the next five years. So you know he's getting paid too. But uh, and like when he was coming up, man, some of the stuff he said was so funny because it was like it was like Instant fighters classics. Dude. Yeah, dude. And there was like fighters just being like, yeah, you know, like you think you're tough. I'm just like a hardworking guy. And he was just like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just doing shit like you were just like. Uh. And he was say like, there's like, one, it's like one clip. He's like, you're stiff as a board. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I come up there and snap you in half. <laughs> just saying Dude, like crazy just shit. Non-stop. And all these like tough, like hardworking guys were just like so monotonous and like saying the same yeah. type of things. And, and, he, and was whatever. Back, he was backing it up for a while. Too. And, and the fact that he was backing it up made people want to watch even more. Cause right. like either you loved that he was backing it up or you wanted to see him get fucking put in his place. Yeah. And it was so funny, but you know, now he's kind of on the back end where it's like he's talking a lot of shit and now it's kind of like looking really poorly on him. Because he's like, not backing it up anymore. You can only up. do this for so long, and dude. He, and he's saying some kind of like whack shit about, yeah. you know, like putting him on a stretcher and like he's going out on a stretcher. That was hilarious. Yeah, the though. irony. <laughs> and then, too, you really like the other guy, like Dustin Poirier. Yeah. I think for him, like he's the opposite of that. But I think it's whatever like is authentic to you. Like he really like I've really started to like follow him and watch him more because he's like had a big journey and grown a lot. And then he isn't that guy, but he's like authentically himself. And I think that's what sells fights. Right. Like yeah. when he was talking mad shit, McGregor, it was like selling fights because like it was authentic. Of course. When this guy is like taking it and being like, I'm still going to fuck you up and then does it. It's like authentic. So that's what people want to watch. Yeah. No, it's, it's fun. He knows he knows what he's doing. That's for sure. Yeah. Anyways, that's my little rant. But yeah, it was a crazy fight. And like that ankle, man, that's oh, uh, nasty. Just like, oh. I drink, you gotta get some calcium, I guess. You say drink milk, but <laughs> you just gotta get what, calcium from wherever you get it. What went on there? But damn, dude, that's just, you just step back and you could see he was just in his face. He's like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, no. he's, he's like, screws up. Yeah, oh, dude. Oh, that's just like nightmares, dude. But. That's what that's what fighting is, I guess. Like you know, it is what it is. I mean, at least it wasn't as bad as that guy who, uh, like, folded his foot on Buddy's shin. Yeah, like but it was ago. similar. Yeah, um, similar yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, so and that was so bad. It was like the first kick of the fight. Right, just, it was like, still in snapped. the first round. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was like first like ten, like thirty seconds. And then he's going on saying like, if that doesn't happen to my foot, like, like that's the thing. Now everyone's like, what would have happened in that fight? You know, like, you know, obviously he's going to keep saying that he would have won or he would have whatever. Like, he's like, you know, round two comes, you know, like it would have been different. But Man, Dustin you can't, was... you can't. I mean, I agree that it's harder. Like, it's harder for Dustin to like celebrate the win because he didn't really beat him. You know, know, like technically he did, but I don't know, like. As from Dustin's perspective, how he feels, obviously Connor's chirping him, telling him like, if he's celebrating this win, like, fuck, you know, fuck him, whatever. But yeah, I, I think like the end of the second round or first round, he was just like, he he, it was like a ten eight round, like he was dominating. Right. I yeah. was like, he's McGregor's kind of. I was like, he's not. Dustin dominant. probably would have won anyways, but yeah. I would be like, man, you I, never I know. won, and like, knockout. You never know, knockout. Yeah, I guess you never know, but he was giving it to him, bro. Yeah. He's feeding him. 
no, no, he was bloodied his, his shot, face yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. too, like, for sure. I think McGregor was like, "Thank God, <laughs> yeah. I'm out of this, dude. And I can talk mad shit and I can just <laughs> get him on the next one." You Facts, know? yeah. You know, I was like, Ugh, "That looked so painful." Didn't, didn't have to be like humble at the end, like the last fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like he could just like still talk his shit. And be like, talk, yeah, exactly. But, but no, no, I, I the thought clips, was, the, there was some borderline like not not like borderline he was pushing it even when he was hurt i saw this like one clip where he was saying i'm gonna come like kill your you and your family like in your yeah. sleep or something and yeah. i'm like with these is that necessary is it, that necessary like you just like snapped your ankle like i get you're yeah. trying to like talk shit whatever but like is it really necessary to say like some threat like that like i don't know with your broken ankle and you're on the ground yeah bro like, like, come like on, man. chances are that's not gonna happen <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like dude you just got your ankle snapped it's so funny in the interview after he's like he's like yeah saying shit like that like i'll kill you in your sleep and you and your wife will but he's like you don't say that stuff he's like come over there break your other fucking ankle that's what the other guy said yeah i was like yeah respect some dude. funny ass memes of uh like the professor i think it was who was like i mean it was a professor someone else and it's like you just see Conor McGregor with his like ankle broken and like the professor oh. like doing a move. <laughs> it's like That's just good. a picture of the professor and then like his ankles cracked. And it's That's like, it's really funny. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Cause that's what he'd be doing, you know? Dang dude. Yeah, man. That's yeah. hilarious. And honestly, yeah. Yeah. What? No, I was just going to say that with the professor, dude, I'd be dope to go down to LA and try and link up with, whoever you know down there because like i have connects that are connected to him and like throughout other other stuff and people wanting to collab with us that and i'm like well we're in canada this one one guy was like yeah we need to collab and i was like he's like where are you from and you know of course i wish we were just in the states and he could be like yeah we'll just drive up whatever but right it's just not that easy right now but yeah soon enough when the time comes we'll be down there and there's a lot of people who are the that's the thing like the community's big but it's just not that big either you know in terms of creators it feels small yeah it feels like it's reachable you know and everyone seems to be at least from my experience really positive and like is trying to hype each other up right. instead of like uh, being bring, like bring it, like be like you're coming in and like you know what i mean yeah like they're not selfish about like they know that there's space for everyone to succeed yeah without mm-hmm. taking away from their own thing or for whatever. sure yeah. No, it's really nice. I really, I really been uh, like you've been kind of linking up and making those connections more than I have. But I've been really like uh, it's been really nice to, to see like you know like Mac popping off uh, yeah. at one promo Dude and then went and, big on ESPN yeah, Sports yeah. Center everything with the but then game dummy video. But he's dude. still like uh, commenting on our like stuff and being yeah, like, "Yo, yeah, this yeah. is sick." Like, what I'm like, "Oh," and we don't have like obviously that and haven't popped off in that way yet. But I just it's just like man, this is amazing. Yeah, that no, it's no. not like fuck you guys like i'm big shot now no it's good it's good I'm really happy that uh, obviously and King, he's a lot busier now and can't you know is he still teaching yeah but it's summer now so he's oh got, like, right, right he's right. just been going in on content and runs and playing and stuff so it's uh it's it's dope and and he'll walk back into school and he'll be like yo i'm a star baby you see dude, the blue check all the kids all the kids right, are waiting for that you blue check me, dude waiting for that <laughs> some kid um, will be like trying to ask him he's like excuse me i'm teaching <laughs> 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 excuse me <laughs> yeah um he just no, like always has a ball there's so much content that he actually do with, like <laughs> teaching his kids he's just like i'm like too big for teaching now he's like always oh, got a ball up. like teaching like you know so four squared is <laughs> <laughs> he's like spinning a ball doing tricks <laughs> <laughs> entertaining his class so funny dude. that's hilarious facts yeah 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 so no it's just dope to have that support and and uh and know that the possibilities are there to yeah, we should try Keep to drive down up. to Seattle or like Hell Portland yeah. just to start off. It'd be fun. Hell just yeah. go pull up wherever. And yeah, absolutely. Film some stuff. Yeah, definitely do that. And yeah. um, yeah, what else? What else happened this weekend? Even uh, even anti anti uh, one promo went on ball his life as well. Like few videos before I and Matt got reposted there too. So it was good to see both of them popping off doing their thing yeah man um was there any that was, i think that was it and then there was like game three on sunday night and it was exciting dude it was just like at the end of the day once i turned the basketball game off we were like 
just turn the TV off. No more TV because it's from like as soon as we woke up, tennis was starting. It was like right. all day long. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. But um, sports, man, and that's what that's what like you realize is, and you know, I heard some commentators saying this too. Is just like you just realize how important sports are for like a society or like that kind of thing. I feel like it brings a lot of people together and sort of it's like just such good entertainment. It's like inspiring. It's like all these things and big community. You just need that. Like when we were in shutdown and didn't have any of that stuff, it was, it definitely was difficult to, uh, to then like relate with other people as well and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, man, you need it. You need it. Yeah. We, I think I really do like, human beings are like social creatures and you need community and yeah and like like i don't know it's like kind of tribal in a way but like not in a necessarily like negative way it's mm-hmm. like in a positive way where you have like your clan of like phoenix suns people or whatever you know yeah we're on that phoenix suns <laughs> oh, yeah, clan dude, dude. <laughs> yes sir <laughs> Devin booker dude lol dude sometimes i'm like playing pickup and stuff and i'm like just kind of taking that like elbow jumper and I'm just like I'm like shooting. And I'm just like, dude, I'm fucking Devin Booker. Right yeah, now. Dude, I'm, in the, <laughs> I'm in the championship game, dude. I, know, I, just, I feel like I was like, yeah, I'm all, yeah, yeah. Usually brick it, but it's like you feel like it. You're like, oh man, this is what he's doing in the league. It's just so hooping, good. dude. It's just hooping. So good. Yeah. Not everyone can make it to the league, but anyone can become a street yeah. ball legend. That's dude. right. Yeah, yeah. You can feel <laughs> quote, like it. Quote the king, dude. Anyone can become a street ball legend. It's true, man. Yeah. And that's the same. That's what like Mac did. dude. He just like started making content that he liked and became now a street ball legend. Yeah. Dude. People just know him as as uh, bringing back the N one days to the 2020s, you know? Yeah. Um, I was thinking like, yeah, like we, and we, we've been we've been discussing what like our style is uh, that's what i like about his his content is that like it's just so consistently like one style you know it's like uniquely him yeah exactly yeah. and like i definitely want to like carve that out for us like what exactly where where are we like transporting people when we bring them to like our page and mm. and i think like we're we're slowly defining that just as we grow and get more into it and it's been yeah. and it'll happen naturally but um, it'll be interesting too because it's both of us doing it so right, it'll, right. it'll have like if you take the lead on something it'll have your flavor on it if mm-hmm. i do it it'll have my kind and of once, sauce on and it. once we find like the balance in between then it'll just like flow yeah easily and we'll know what to do where and so no it's 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 good and i'm just excited for the future dude oh man i was really good. i was gonna say something just before we started this, but then I was like, I'll just, I'll, you know, you <laughs> just before I, I brought up the, yeah, you were saying something and then I was about to say, but then you had a good thought and then I was like, I'll hold it for later. And then you start to listen and then it's like, shit, it's gone. <laughs> was it about, uh, the weekend? Uh, no, it was, about, I, it was just before I am Mac having his own style. Um, become a street ball legend and, uh, Oh, that's right. Oh, man. Thanks. For, yeah, my man. I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I was watching some because I was I've been thinking more about YouTube and like virality and how to go viral and what type of videos you need to do. Yeah. And then I just I was just watching King Handel's like channel and just like going through it and looking at some videos and there's like some cool documentaries and just I because I, I didn't grow up in Vancouver and like I watched the Anne One stuff, but I never really watched the Nautic stuff. Right. Yeah, but, I mean, neither because I just wasn't. You weren't. It wasn't in my scope it. at that yeah. time. Yeah. But I was watching it. I was like, man, like, it would just dawned on me. Like, I guess it just really hit me as I was watching. I was like, this guy, like, King Handles is like a legend. Dude, that's what I've been saying. I know, I know you've been saying it, but it's it's like one thing to say it, but then it's like another thing to hear it when it drops in. We literally have top five street baller in the world. Legend, yeah, yeah. He's like worldwide one of the best. Like top five, top ten. I don't know. I don't even know who the other guys are. I just know that he's like, he can match up with any any street, street baller. Like yeah, yeah, any, yeah. Any guy. He's like, it was just like, it was so. It just dawned on me because like seeing some of the docs, seeing some of the whatever, and I was like, man, that's crazy. And he's in Vancouver, and like, it's not like it's not popping off. Like in my mind, I'm like, it's not popping off like the way like uh, the way no, the professor yeah, is or right. whatever. You right? want to see it go big, I'm, and yeah. it's just like so crazy that he's just out here with us and, and we're just like making content and, and trying to come Good, That's why I'm like, I'm like, I want to buy the merch. Yeah, I want to yeah, support yeah. him. I want to say thank you. Like sort of uh, to me, like, you know, 
cutting up some content or you know always always putting him on on our page or whatever it's kind of just like me paying my respect to his hustle that he's you know paying the respect to the community that he like literally built yeah 20 years ago well, here and through all the and one guys and that right. like he's like a a pillar of it yeah and you know we just are sort of hopping into it now yeah so i just want to be like you're paying homage exactly like you you know and even before him though like he he didn't uh i think he joined the nautic because i was watching one of the docs and he was saying yeah. it, in it it was saying he was balling out in high school and like grade eight and nine and stuff and he was doing all the things that he loved to do right with his own flair and basketball was played so it's in like a in a team setting and it right. was played in such a way that we're like the coach was like we're not playing like that jungle ball like we just got to play more like you know technical and stuff sure and, sure and like there probably was some racism in that as well but he said that really affected him and then he went to burnaby and started hooping with some guys and they were all black and they were like that was with like the ogs of the nautic sure and then he was like seeing these guys play with his kind of style who were better than him but were also encouraging him it was like yeah keep doing your thing keep Word. You know, like doing your triple cross. Yeah, whatever. screw everyone else. Like, yeah, yeah. He's like, he, and he said that really like had a big impact on him. And then, nice. then the nautic popped off. And then they had the three on three tournament at Science World. Oh, nice. And then uh, people just showed out because they were just doing like it was like that was the nautic. That was like what made the nautic huge. It was like right. that Science World like three on three. Like right. crowds got bigger. People were just laughing and doing crazy moves, and I was like, "Man, that's so crazy!" It was like nice to have a little. We can definitely revive that, dude. Yeah, yeah, but it was just nice to have a little recap of like the history of street ball in Vancouver and Vancouver basketball. Yeah. Um, and it was crazy. I was like, "Man, this is the guy." Yeah. You know. Yeah, dude. Like one of the guys. The and the like, guy in Canada, and then the one of the top like in North America, Asia, worldwide for sure. Yeah. Yeah, man, it was Absolutely, sick. Absolutely, dude. And he's just in our back backyard, dude. And <laughs> yeah, he just do it. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. It's so, so awesome. Definitely feel blessed and uh, and lucky to have the, any of these opportunities and and just yeah, gonna man. keep going and having fun and try and push it forward and do do our best to you know make justice to it and have our own fun and create our own lane and yeah, yeah, our own and, style and all that for sure. Yeah, and you know we're not street ball and the nautic no 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 whatever that's not like we're we're not quite at that level at all you know at least i speak for myself no i oh, but, can speak for me as well <laughs> but um <laughs> don't think. it's still just like you can still be in that com in that community and like there's, there's a space for fun. everyone right absolutely you yeah. don't have to be the legend on the court you can be the guy like joking with them or whatever yeah yeah doing our doing our thing you dude know? and making content that's what like we want to like put him on put other people on make that Put content on, like yeah. edit do all that stuff and create like a a, a new wave a, a renaissance a renaissance if you will if you will a little french a little renaissance of the street ball <laughs> yeah. yeah straight up so it was, it was it was cool to see it was cool to see get a little like uh history lesson for myself nice nice yeah yeah and then we're gonna start putting out these crazy youtube videos <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Look One out. man gets pranked has to wear a diaper at the court. Ah, oh. <laughs> dude, I, that's honestly gonna be hilarious. Dude. Oh my god, dude! So funny, dude. So yeah, dude, that's it. Let's go to the court. Let's go ball. Dude. Let's go ball, dude. We should do one. Do you, we should do one where we have to get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you get tattooed. No, no. Tattoo. If you lose, if you lose, I'm finna win then, dude. Oh yeah, well, that's that's the, that's what'll make it hype. <laughs> you have to get the hoop daddy like across your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Just like on that my fucking forehead. That would be crazy. No, no, we don't need to do that. I'll do it on my. I'll do it on my lip here, dude. dude that's even that's wild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't want that, man. Uh, I'm like, so I'm not about to lose this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the video, just us, like just fouling each other. Like and we're then, so tired. And we're then just at like, the end, it's just like a, a stick-on tattoo. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, no, that'd be crazy. But we're gonna do something crazy like that. Whatever. Gotta get the views up. Hell yeah, dude. All right, All right, thanks for tuning in. This was episode 17, 18. We don't even know. It's been so many days. We're trying to go viral, about to get <laughs> paid. Paid, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. All like right, that. okay. All right, Hoop Daddy show, we out. We out. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Uh, David Lamb this Friday. It's going to be a lot of fun. 4 o'clock, 16th. David Lamb, Friday. Let's go. 
subscribe, like, comment, share, all of the above. Until next time. Peace. Peace.